So the trios game mode is very difficult to become the best at, but these four trios have mastered it all and is why that you really need to learn from them. You know, there are millions of players competing in trio tournaments every single month, but these four trios know exactly what they need to do to consistently win. And so today we're gonna be looking at top four best trios in the world today and analyzing them and just seeing what makes them so good. Bunch of Grunts Army today, we're gonna be talking about the four best trios in the world and analyzing their skill and individual roles. And so you can definitely Try to replicate that all right here we go speaking of which the question of the day is this which trio do you think is going to win the fncs in the nae region let us definitely know in the comments we're going to check it out all right your motivation guy is ready to start this video you guys ready let's get this going All right guys, so let's start off in the EU region with the trio that is known to be the best in the entire world. Hen, Janice, and Chapix are some of the best fighters in all of EU, and it seems like the tournaments they play are just open division arena for them. This trio consistently wins cash cups, has won the season five FNCS, and while being conned, they still finish with the top 10 in the season six FNCS. This trio formed during season five with little to no practice before the FNCS, and they still won. They are considered the kings of Craggy Cliff, and any trio that contests them will end with a horrible placement. And not only does this trio place in the top five consistently on EU, they're known as some of the best high ping players. You know, no matter what this trio is put up against, man, they never end the tournament with a bad performance. All right, guys, let's talk about one of the best fraggers in the EU, Guild Hen. Hen plays his fragger role in the trio to perfection and always seems to get kills when they really, really need it. You know, Hen always gets easy refreshes for his trio without costing the trio and never goes for any plays without the approval of his trio. This discipline comes from Chapix, the IGL of the trio. Chapix is an extremely talented IGO and with amazing positional skills and always gets his trio to the top three without having to split up or solo clutch. Chapix is also the most experienced player out of the three with his career starting off with the World Cup qualification. And last but not least, we have the Fraggers support player, Janice. Janice is a really smart player who is also the most decorated in his trio with two FNCS wins on his resume. He also is one of the two players to win a solo FNCS and a trio FNCS alongside his ex-duel mate, Taysom. So this trio is an absolute powerhouse, bro, and has the most grand finals experience out of most trios in EU. This trio also proved that they're not gonna stop placing after the rough season six FNCS by qualifying to the season seven grand finals in the first week. The standards this trio has is absolutely unmatched, with all three of these players having an FNCS win and consistent placements in almost every single game mode that you can think of. The reason why this trio works so well is because each player always holds up their own weight and they are always going for the high ground. And this trio is just very consistent just because they are the kings of hype and always aggressively really take height without griefing their own games. Chapix knows exactly how to position this trio for success and the aim and aggressiveness of Han and Janice always takes the contesting height team by surprise. All right, let me say this. If you guys are looking to take your skills to the next level, and I mean top tier competitors, man, do you want your friends to shiver at the thought of going against you? Well, that's a possibility at ProGuys.com. All right, sign up with our 20% discount code, Rank Up 2021, and receive an insane one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is gonna make you guys a Fortnite beast. Visit ProGuys.com and get started today. All right, guys, up next, Bunch of Crunch Army, we have the most consistent trio in the NAE region, who are also considered the most unlucky trio. The second place warrior team of Scented, Edgy, and Commandment are just the smartest players in the world and are known as the kings of low ground. With their unique low ground playstyle, these three are always in the top two of every single tournament they play and literally play second in every game due to the fact that height always has the advantage. With the second place finish in the season four, five, and FNCS, this trio just can't catch a break. Even though they've never won an FNCS, you just can't deny that they're the best in NAE, or at least the second best, and that's for what they're known for. Scented, Edgy, and Commandment are known as the best Misty Metals team in the world and have been landing there for every single tournament since the beginning of time. The strategies and storm search routes that they have cooked up are so secretive that people are just scared to contest them. They're so good at playing at Misty Metals, man, that many players even bot review them and just try to replicate the rotations. And they're obviously doing something right. You know, with three second place FNCS finishes and a plethora of cash cup wins, this trio is insane. Not only has this tournament won on the NAE region, Scented and Edgy also won five plus turnings before they moved from NAW. This trio has some very interesting roles. 
as Commandment is the Tarper even though he doesn't IGL, and obviously he isn't a fragger either. Scented is known to be the best IGL in the NAE region, and actually stays back, Tarp and frags with Edgy. The reason this trio works so well, man, is because of their top tier low ground game sense, right? And how disciplined this trio really is. Scented and Edgy always look for refreshes together, and since they played for over two years on both the NAW and NAE region, these two have the best fighting chemistry out of anybody in the Fortnite scene. Commandment's tarping skills are so good that he knows exactly how to block the other teams off and always keeps his trio on low ground. Sentence communication skills are off the charts and their overall fighting skill is immaculate and that is why this trio is so consistent. Speaking of consistency, the trio of Arkham, Epic Whale, and Rex are known to be the kings of NA West. This trio is the definition of domination and doesn't allow any trios in the NA West region to get close to their victory spot. Along with our previous trios, are these three have automatically qualified to the Season 7 Grand Finals and have almost a guaranteed chance of winning it. If you could bet all your life savings on who's going to win the NAWFNCS, <laughs> well, this trio is never going to let you down. This trio won the Season 4 and 5 FNCS without even breaking a sweat and it's almost like the entire region were playing for second. This trio is the highest earning trio in the entirety of NAW, with a jaw-breaking $2.4 million combined in earnings. With all three of them being on keyboard and mouse, they are the smartest fighters in the West and never back down from a fight. Altogether, this trio has a combined amount of nine FNCS wins. Combining Epic Well and Arkham's insane knowledge of the game, along with Rex's fighting skill, this trio is unmatched in the NAW region. Arkham the IGL is known to be the most consistent solo player in the world and got first and second back to back in the solo FNCS and solo Invitational. All right, fun fact. This trio was so bored of winning over and over and Arkham and Epic Well both switched to controller and still dominated with less than a month of playing on it, man. <laughs> This trio has already won two of four Cash Cups of Season 7 and will definitely win more as the season progresses. Just like Chapik's trio, like this trio is always on hype, and anybody who challenges them is making a huge, huge mistake. Their quick reaction time and perfect tracking is very lethal, and it's going to kick anybody who contests them back to the lobby. Alright, up next is the newly formed legendary trio of Tayson, Vino, and Reason. These three made a last minute trio before the first week of FNCS, which was a very risky one, man. Taysom was automatically qualified for the Season 7 Grand Finals, but he wanted to disband with his trio as he felt uncomfortable with them for the next Grand Finals. Luckily, Rez and Vino had a spot open, and uh, this formed the best Cash Cup trio in the world, and possibly an FNCS winning trio. The first tournament they played together was the trio's Cash Cup, which they won. They won the next Cash Cup after that, and then they soon realized that they were the perfect match for each other. With Taysen coming off an all-star win, Vino with the second place right below Taysen, and Rezan with the sixth place, the individual skill and solo consistency is unmatched with this trio. Obviously, because of the sudden changes a week before FNCS, this trio has little to no practice and are barely experienced with playing at Believer's Beach as a trio. However, they quickly overcame all of their obstacles, and with their insane combined fighting skills, they easily won their first two Cash Cups as a trio. This trio is some of the highest placing players in Season 7. You know, with all of them placing in the top 10 in solo all-stars, 5 cash cup wins, and over 25 top 10 placements in other tournaments. This trio still has a lot to improve, but the reason they are known as a top 4 trio right now is mainly because of their fighting skills and their aggressive playstyle. You know, they W key pro trios like they're playing arena, man, and always manage to dominate on the hype whenever they're given the chance to. Alright, so the reason Hint's trio was so good is because of their high ground domination and how well they fight together. This trio is definitely very intimidating and never backs down from a fight. Alright, this next trio is very consistent because of how ahead they are when it comes to playing on the low ground. Their tarping and communication is unmatched and the discipline in this trio is why they are always alive to the final zones. The reason this trio is known as the best in the West is their smarts and smooth gameplay. They have a really good peace control style and you know they use it to dominate with their slow and steady play style. This trio has the most pure skill out of any trio and is why they are so good at cash cuts. They are easily the best fighters next to no release trio and also have the best solo performances which makes them all really really good clutch players. 
All right, guys, so we really hope you really learn what makes these trios so consistent and you know how you and your trio can really start playing just like them with the help of pro guys. Remember, guys, to form a trio that you're really comfortable with, you know, playing with your set roles to communicate to your best capability. You know, a lot of these trios had little to no practice before playing their first major event, and it's really all about their individual skill working along with their teamwork skills to really form that perfect synergy. Listen, you guys can do it. Don't give up, man. Don't surrender. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and connect with your guy and your motivation guy on my Instagram. Listen, I believe in you guys. The sky is the limit, man. So just keep going. Never give up. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.